and I can turn on the lights. Um, and a lot of the studios come equipped with the basic stuff you would need for them. Oh, why this is the way it is. <laughs> oh, very so, yeah, cool. Yeah, they all get divided by these really thick um, light blocking curtains. Um, sometimes, depending on how many people have checked out, you can check out two of these smaller studios to make a bigger one. Bay 3 is really nice because it already has lights in it, so you don't need to check out lights for it, and the lights are connected by the grid on the ceiling. Uh, and then my favorite studio is the, the White Bay. Oh, wow. You don't, you don't ever <laughs> really need a backdrop. It's basically a giant reflector, so shadows are always soft in it. Yeah. This one's this one's definitely my favorite. That's cool. That oh, is really nice. Yeah, each studio has a tethering station, which is also really nice. We took the one from three for downstairs. But yeah. Wow. Very cool. So it'll have the base things like speed rings, uh, light stands, monopods. Monopods are just different tripods but they got one leg that's the one i have Teresa. Yeah. yeah um yeah they're super nice very nice and how late are they open till or um the studio hours are always written up there and then also when you apply and you get in you'll have to do something called a studio quiz and it'll have the hours in that as well and it's just basically you saying you won't steal gear Oh. And you know the rules, like you're not going to destroy gear, and if something breaks, you'll take responsibility for it. So right now, the latest we're open is Wednesdays at 6. Otherwise, we close at 4. Most days. Now, is this where, you, where most of the professor's uh, offices are? or No, professor offices are... There we go. And I'll just have to close the door. Um, Marilyn's office is in there, um, and that room that was back there that I didn't open, that's the gear room. Oh, okay. Um, and if you're not a student worker or you aren't an employee of the school, you're not typically allowed back there. Okay. Anyway, these are the professor offices. So this is Randy and Kendall's, and then this is Professor Heitkamp's. Okay. And then we also are lucky to get lockers for you to store your gear, obviously, because we have relatively expensive gear. Um, mine is all the way down here. So this one's mine, if you care. Nice. <laughs> lockers are, as, as silly as it is, they are one of the biggest benefits. Yeah. <laughs> I can Being imagine. Around, around heavy. It's heavy and you're able to like, if you have classes, cause there's one other FOMO classroom that's not in the suite. And so you're, if you're ever doing something in that classroom and you don't want to haul your stuff, you can throw your stuff in your locker. A lot of people will keep snacks in their lockers too, which is also really fun. Yeah. We have, this is the print lab, if you guys haven't seen that. And I got a pull. Do you have a favorite place you like to study around here? Uh, I mostly study in the print lab. I was in the print lab for three hours today, actually. Really? Oh, wow. Um, so we have all these computers. These computers can be used for editing, and then obviously they're hooked up to printers. We also have a photo scanner, which the Foundation of Digital Imaging class, which is a fine arts class, uses and is in this lane. Um, a lot of FOMO students will just come in here to study and stuff. That's also one of the perks of being a FOMO student is if you're not, and if you're not in a class that is in this wing, you typically aren't allowed to hang out in here because these are photography and digital imaging computers. That's cool, T. Then you can get away and, you know, still be around the, your, uh, your major and be near your professors if you have questions. Yeah, and you, once once you start learning printing, printing happens at, you start learning printing towards the end of one of the foundational classes. Um, you have to provide your own paper, which yeah. you can buy through the school. Uh, and many people have to buy their own paper for that. Yeah, and l luckily you can buy the paper through the school, but you, you can print stuff out on the printers. We also have our own like actual printer so you don't need to go to like the student center or something to print something. Your printing credits will translate to this one. Oh, nice. Which is also really nice. 
Um, you just need to know which your star ID or something like that? I've or? never printed at the school, oh. so I don't know. Okay. I have a printer at home. Nice. <laughs> um, but I know some of my classmates have printed here. Right. I know the one time I tried, I needed my student ID. Um, but yes, Marilyn would have the answer for that. Okay. So yeah, this is this is the printing lab. Sometimes classes will also come in here, but it's not like a full classroom. Um, yes, printing lab. Close the door after all y'all. And then we have the computer lab, which out of all the FOMO classrooms is my favorite. Hmm. Mainly because it was the first FOMO classroom I ever went in. It's not the right key, it's not the right key. <laughs> I can see why you enjoy this school so much. Yeah, I like it a lot. So this is the computer lab. This is where you will take cam tech and all your editing software classes. It's really nice. This semester we actually got that giant TV oh, screen. Yeah. And so now we have a projector going on there and there. So you have an easier time seeing. And basically you'll pick a computer when you're in classes and that'll be your computer when you're in the classes, which is really nice, especially if you don't have your own computer. And then um, if Marilyn or someone is working in the gear room, typically you can also come and request to work in here as well if there's not a class going on. Yeah. See, Teresa, years down the line, you could be Camille showing another student, to, you know, the department. And I can, show you, I can show you the other FOMO classroom as well. Sorry I keep playing with the keys. I think it'll uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I promise it's not to be annoying. <laughs> Yeah, and there's, there is a second exit. We don't wanna go out that door. We are very lucky to have a lot of fun studio things. So these are all canvas backdrops. We have some of our seamless paper right over there. Oh, yeah. um, and once you start shooting more in the program, seamless paper is wonderful, but it is super expensive. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so it's really nice to have access to that here. And then we have more canvas backdrops more seamless over here we were really lucky that target target studio donated a bunch of seamless to us last year oh wow so we have a lot of it <laughs> which is super nice so this is the other exit we just can't come in this way very neat yeah wow. and then i don't know if i have a key to the other room but we can see if i do so that's the FOMO wing, and then we also have one more classroom that we are allowed to use. Um, and if the studios are ever full during class time, they will also, if there's not a class happening, this one utilize this one as a studio as well sometimes. And what area is this again? This is the Academic Success Center, but we also get this classroom. Oh, okay. Not... Oh, we do. Uh -huh. <laughs> the power. <laughs> so, see if this one will. Yes, it will. Uh -huh. So, this is the other classroom we get as well. Um, I know when I took lighting one, Lighting one and lighting two is, is in here. My portrait and narrative class is in here. We have a lot more seamless. We have a backdrop. We have that beast of a light modifier. Holy cow. Yeah. This is this is the other classroom you would hypothetically be in. And how many how many students are usually uh, what's the ratio of student to teacher? I technically started still during quarantine oh. and so my class size versus the average class size that we'll have going on now right. will be different. Um, I know uh, in my portrait narrative class there's six of us but I know when I was in studio foundation there was more like 30 of us. Wow. Um, so I, I would talk to Kendall or Marilyn okay. for more of those numbers. Definitely. They, they would have a better gauge. And it also like depends because you'll also start off the semester with a bunch of people and then a bunch of people will stop showing up or they'll drop. So don't don't let that freak you out. 
How about the books and everything that, that need to be purchased? And I've only had one textbook I've had to buy so far for FOMO, and it was for my history of photography class. Okay. Um, all the other equipment I've bought, they'll lay out in the syllabuses, whether it's required to buy or not. So, like, again, printing paper. You have to buy printing paper. You'll have to have your own camera. Um, an interchangeable lens camera, so a DSLR or mirrorless. Sure. Um, a lot of the stuff I've been buying lately are not things that are necessarily required, but I buy them for my business because I own a photography business now. Right. So, just depends. A lot of times the syllabus will lay out what exactly you have to buy. Okay. And the great thing too is if you qualify for student aid, you can get grants or your student financial aid will cover a lot of it as well. That's cool. Yeah. That's really cool. So, You're a photographer, you're supposed to be able to take a photo of it. Yeah. <laughs> Locking is. don't fully unlock like this. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, none of them is like, ooh, surprise purchase that's coming out of nowhere. Okay. So they're, they're really good at being clear about what you need to buy and what you don't need to buy, what the studio has. The studio actually has a lot of the gear, so like light meters, you can typically check out a light meter. Obviously the lighting equipment itself, modifiers. Very cool. Yeah. Are you, are you all in now? I'm in all in. 